Hi, I'm Grace Stores. I'm the editor of Movement as part of the Move team. I'm here at Move 2024 today, and right now I'm joined by Kaiser, head of Power for Europe from Neo. Thank you so much for joining me today, Kaiser. How's your Move experience been so far? Oh, it's been very good. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, it's been, uh, I mean, there's a lot of energy at this place uh, and uh, get to listen to so many good different speakers. So very inspiring. Great. I'm glad to hear it. And today you've had a keynote panel and your own talk on driving EV adoption in mobility. Can you give me some of your main takeaways from that panel and what you heard, what you spoke about? I did sit in it, but for our viewers, can you just let us know? Yes, for sure. Well, uh, I mean, uh, for me... uh, representing NEO, it's very important that the industry is collaborating together. So to sit in a panel with so many different perspectives, I think this is where we can uh, discuss what are the pain points and also the takeaways I got from some of the other panelists that that the perspective we have in NEO and they also have what are the uh, users or customers what are they saying? What are their needs? And I mean, in the industry, we can develop different solutions. But in the end, what are the consumers wanting? Yeah. And I think to have this uh, user-centric perspective, which we do in NEO a lot, <laughs> uh, that's the key to uh, finding the pain points and fixing them. Awesome. And uh, when in NEO, we do, we say uh, we have a chargeable, swappable, upgradable is our uh, key takeaway. And to have this flexibility for everybody, uh, you know, um, you might have one uh, when you buy a car, you have one perspective, but it might change your usage of it. And then to have the possibility to be flexible is key to being successful. Amazing. Yeah, I know you have lots of flexibility with battery swapping and all of that. But can you tell me, do you think the price of buying an EV is the hardest part about driving adoption for, you know, for customer reasons, commercial reasons, do you, or is it the assumed lack of infrastructure for EVs, or is it something else? I know in the panel you were talking about the demand for grids and the demand for electricity. Can you tell me a bit about other barriers that are, people are facing when it comes to EV adoption and maybe potential solutions for that as well? Yes, I mean, uh, what you're mentioning are some of the pain points yeah. uh, in EV adoption. You can also discuss... Uh, the degradation of the batteries, potentially that, and the, the this constantly coming new uh, technologies. So some people are worried about if I buy this car now, maybe in one year there's another totally different solution that is way much better. So, I mean, there the cost, the grid. There's so many different problems that we can solve, but then I think there's not just one solution, and to have the different perspective. Uh, for example, like I said, this, uh, the, the, since we can swap the batteries, so the, the, um, that gives it, it only takes less than five minutes yeah. to swap a battery. So the time is um, it's a factor that we have a check for there. But then also, if you have one kind of battery and your usage is going to change, then you can upgrade it with the swap stations. So this flexibility is uh, taking care of the other pain point that you don't want to get locked into one technology you want to be open to all of it and if new technology comes then this will be available and coming to the cost uh, what we are doing there is that you can buy the car but then you don't buy the battery so we reduce that price and you lease the battery instead during the period when you have the car so this helps with uh, that's one takeaway to help the reducing cost and then if you have a home charger that's where most people charge their car but not all of them, uh, not everybody has a home charger. If you live here downtown London, how many people will have access to that? Not that many. So then if you have a swapping station, you can swap in three minutes. So you don't have to waste time <laughs> charging your car. Uh, and so, so I think for every problem, let's find a new solution. And I think also the grid is kind of, there is services out there that we can use. And driving throughout Europe, when I go on holiday, I always take my electrical car. And having just uh, the good solutions with the good route planning, uh, showing where you can charge at what capacity, making it very transparent, uh, that's one key factor. To make it as easy as possible, take away all those obstacles, and I think more and more people will join. Amazing, great. Well, it's great to hear those tangible solutions to some of these barriers and hopefully we can drive some more EV adoption. But 
Lastly, I just wanted to ask you, why is MOVE important to you? you know, why, why have you chosen to speak here today? What makes MOVE so important? I think in this at MOVE, we get to meet so many different people from the industry. And I think EV is, uh, is transitioning so fast. There's so many solutions coming in all the time, and we are working with some of them. Other companies are working with other solutions. And at an event like this, we all get to meet and learn from each other. So I think for me to share what NEO can do is one part, but also to listen to all the other stakeholders. What, what are you doing? And could we collaborate or can we fix these problems together? So I think MOVE is a place where you meet so many stakeholders who actually can make an impact. Or also, uh, I would say, that are already driving the change. Sometimes it's just a, like a mental block. Nothing is happening, but actually so many things are happening very fast and to give the positive sense uh, on this, uh, yeah, how we can drive the adoption. Amazing. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. And I'm so glad to have heard you in your keynote earlier. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your time here at Booth. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.